He's a man that knows how to work across the aisle. He's reasonable. He's got a proven record of experience, incredible experience, more than double of his two opponents in the primary combined. And he's been on the state level, the federal level. He's been an executive. So I think he's got the, um, the ability. I think he's got the experience. I think he's got the temperament. He's got the commitment and the passion. And I wanted to introduce him because I have a personal connection in that I've worked with him for the 16 years that I was honored to represent Montgomery County in Congress. And I believe that you can have a divided Congress, but they don't have to be stymied or bulldozed. They can work together. What do you think about the amount of money that's been pouring into this race so far? I want you to know that I am part of a group of 140 former members of Congress and former governors, bipartisan, who are working to do something on campaign finance reform. And this uh, race proves the need for it. We are looking at what states are doing, trying to let people know that they can get initiatives on the ballot. We're looking at uh, uh, what individuals can do to show their members of the state legislature that they need to have campaign finance reform. Also, what about redistricting? I am disappointed that in the state of Maryland, the proposition for redistricting, which would get rid of some of the safe districts that Governor Hogan uh, offered, never got out of committee. Uh, come on. That is one step that could be taken that would make districts more competitive, not safe, and would therefore be a good environment for reducing the, the cost and a good environment for uh, allowing both parties to participate.